नमस्ते दिस वीडियो इज ऑन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक आसियान इंडिया रिसर्च ट्रेनिंग फेलोशिप कॉल्ड एज ए आई आर टी एफ एंड दिस इज दिस स्कीम इज अ ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर द फैकल्टी मेंबर्स एंड रिसर्चर्स फ्रॉम आसियान मेंबर्स दिस ट्रेनिंग फेलोशिप इज fully supported by government of india so let's understand how to apply and how to you know grab this great opportunity of doing some research fellowship at premier institutions in india so asean is a organization called as association of south east asian nations and india has been partner of asean since 1992 government of india established a dedicated fund asean india and science and technology development fund in 2008 to support projects and associated project development activities the ais tdf is an equivalent of 5 million usd and jointly contributed by the department of science and technology currently and ministry of external affairs the main objectives of this uh, scheme uh, is to encourage and promote cooperation in science technology innovation including through joint research in the areas of healthcare disease management environmental management handling the climate change agricultural technologies alternative energy etc and to encourage and promote cooperation in the field of biotechnology in the form of capacity building joint research development and, and and development for mutual benefit to undertake activities and develop program and projects under asean india science and technology development fund so the mainly the support is given to you know the asean member states the faculty members and researchers brunei darussalam cambodia indonesia laos Malaysia, Myanmar, uh, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. So these are the you know the member states where ASEAN, for which ASEAN instituted India and ASEAN instituted a scheme called as ASEAN India Research Training Fellowship, called as AIRTF scheme. This is the scheme scheme through which the members you know the faculty members. Our researchers, our ASEAN members, can visit to India, can spend six months in a premier institute, and pursue their research and understand and take that knowledge back to their country and carry out the research in that impactful uh, area. So the objectives of AIRTF is to promote the mobility of scientists and researchers from ASEAN countries to India and provide them opportunity to work at Indian research and development or academic institutions to upgrade their research skills and expertise to facilitate exchange of information research ideas contacts between the scientists and researchers of India in ASEAN countries and to create network for building research collaboration strong research collaboration the fellowship awardees may also get opportunity to have co supervisors once they are back to their country in their research supervision or different research work leading to master and doctoral degree the number of fellowship generally is 50 per year which is offered to all asean members the duration of the fellowship is generally from 2 to 6 months based on the nature of work and the area of research the fellowship is managed and coordinated by federation of indian chambers commerce and industry called as fiki new delhi ficci the areas which are covered in fellowship include agricultural sciences biological and medical sciences chemical computer science engineering physical sciences and mathematics ocean and earth atmospheric sciences engineering sciences material sciences science policy ipr management transfer of technology commercialization and there may be other multidisciplinary areas of science technology and innovation the eligibility of the applicant um, must be holding nationality of any asean member state 
must possess at least master degree and must be working or affiliated with any national r and d or academic institution in asean member country the application of the candidate has to be endorsed by the head of the institution that the candidate is allowed to work for 6 month in india the upper age limit is 45 years uh, the candidate is supposed to have fluency in english language so that he can do better research with a collaborator or a host institute in india indian nationals are not eligible for this fellowship the members from asean countries are only eligible so the applicants who have availed the fellowship same scheme uh, in the last 3 years are again not eligible after 3 years one can again apply the round what kind of assistance is given why it is uh, you know of great importance the round trip international air fare by the lowest economy means the travel support the visa application charges medical insurances all these are covered in this scheme consolidated fellowship amount of 60000 rupees indian rupees is also given per month to the uh, candidate who comes for 6 month fellowship in india one time research grant for 40000 rupees uh, to meet the research contingency expenses airport transfers domestic travel etc etc is also given and institute overhead charges of 2500 is given to the host institute to meet some overhead expenses the allowances mentioned above are released to the host institution in india and disbursed to the fellow abc means here the uh, three points highlighted uh, above this the host institution will arrange appropriate accommodation for the fellow on the payment basis the applications can be submitted online using this link ai stic.gov.in hard copies are not required and the applications should register in the asean online portal after login one is required to submit the profile detail biodata photo institute address and so on and some of the details related to what work candidate is uh, intending to work related to that area one is required to briefly write about uh, the project or the topic of research what the candidate wants to do as study in india other relevant information including everything the proposal has to be uploaded as a single pdf file this is one you know sample or this is uh, the url where you have to go for registration where the basic information you will be entering and you will be allowed to register for this scheme the applicant has to submit the application online where the enclosures required are cv that is curriculum vitae uh, copy of relevant pages of valid passport endorsement letter uh, from the present employer where the candidate is working copy of acceptance letter from the host institute you have to apply and take consent from the host institute from india where you want to work that copy also is required while applying online and suggestive list of academic and r&d institutions as a host institutions are already given in the website this is one sample uh, which is required for endorsement of the head of the institution where the candidate is working that the candidate will be allowed to work in india for 6 month and will be staying and doing research with some collaborator in an host institution this is the acceptance letter to be given by the host institute so this is not a research grant scheme this is a scheme where the candidate will come to india will spend 6 month at a host institute and will be doing a focused research in that particular proposed area so what is needed is the research work or the training is being planned to conduct to be conducted during the tenure has to be briefly discussed or written here in this particular box it may be maybe probably you know 300 words or not more than that briefly what is your plan what do you want to do any background you have any motivation you have what do you want to why do you want this work to be uh, you know done or conducted at indian host that has to be briefly given here so the obligations are in general during their tenures the fellows are expected you know 
to follow certain rules and regulations. Guidelines are there. So these are all general purpose guidelines, you know, related to uh, the the uh, you know academic and research integrity and utilization of funds, respecting the uh, sentiment or the you know the mandate of ASEAN and India uh, scheme, the fellowship scheme. This is a sample of. Uh, uh, you know the report which the candidate is required to submit at the end of six months. What kind of learning? What were the objectives? What was the outcome achieved? What are the is there any publication made by the candidate? And what are the advantages in terms of expertise? Whether the candidate has been able to understand, has been able to work with certain equipment, has got opportunity for new interactions. So all these discussions, you know learning experience, learning outcome, what were the objectives, what was the training outcome are to be included in the completion report and has to be submitted, uh, uh, you know, at the end of six months. You know. So if you can see, it's very interesting, very exciting, and it's giving you the wonderful opportunity that come to India, visit India, spend six months, in a premier institute, just apply, take consent from the institute and come here and do the research uh, in the six months. Try to, you know, make it very useful, publish some paper, take the learning outcome to your country and continue the research in that specific domain. So this is uh, one, uh, you know, uh, link where through which you can register yourself and then apply. So this is how it looks like to search the host institute. You can search like this here. You have to type the research area. Suppose you are working in certain areas, say environmental monitoring or you're working in biometrics. So just type that keyword. The list of host institutions will come in front of you. Then you can choose or you can see their details. You can write to them and wherever from you get the consent that name you can include with the consent later from the host institute and you can apply. So this is very simple. The process is very simple. So thank you so much. The idea was just to highlight, you know, how to and why part of this very, very important scheme for by which or through which all my colleagues, you know, the friends, the academic, uh, the people who are working in academics, research, research scholars can come to India and uh, spend six months in good institute and can do the research. So thank you so much and good luck and best wishes to all the faculty members and research scholars of ASEAN countries. Thank you so much. Namaste.